Warning, due to this guide needing a second edition fusion gun and due to how rare the said bit is, this just serves as a how I made my own kit bashed Eldar Storm Guardian fusion gunners video. This is a vlog entry about converting Warhammer Snapfit Eldar Guardians, nothing more, nothing less. So here we go. The conversion is pretty simple. As mentioned, I used 2nd edition fusion guns. The bits were sent to me by my friend Sean. Thanks man. The 2nd edition fusion guns have a body that is as almost as long as a shuriken catapult. My initial plan was to just saw off the shuriken catapult and just glue the fusion gun bit onto the pushfit Eldar Guardian's right fist, but I noticed the units have holes on their chests. There was also the problem of relocating the left fist onto the fusion gun bit's body. These factors led me to decide that I would just cut a few parts from the fusion gun rather than kit bash the entire bit into the snap fit miniatures. I proceeded to cut the barrel with the part of the main stock attached to it. Be careful as the bit might fly off. Ensure it doesn't. With the part cut, I then tidied up the edge that was going to connect it to the shuriken catapult of the Eldar Guardian. Next up was the canister thingamajig at the bottom of the fusion gun. Again be careful it doesn't fly off. After this, I then proceeded to cut the barrel of the shuriken catapult. With the part severed, I then dry fitted the main body of the rifle with the barrel of the fusion gun. Noting the parts that protruded, and made the union impossible, I proceeded to sand the bumps down. A word of caution though, be careful that you don't damage the left hand. You need this to join the weapon with the rest of the Eldar Guardian's bot. Once the parts are sanded down properly, I then proceeded to super glue them together. Don't put in too much super glue as I've done here as you might end up melting too much of the pieces. Here it is with the fusion gun barrel attached. After this, I then remove the magazine and its receiving assembly. This is where it gets tricky. I needed to remove just enough so th there still would be some protrusion from the receiver of the shuriken catapult on which I can glue the fusion gun canister. Without that protrusion, it would have been difficult for me to glue the canister directly into the main body of the rifle as the canister is too large to fit into the recess that's between the hands. Here it is with part of the magazine receiver assembly cut. Notice I've kept a small portion of it. After this step, I proceeded to dry fit the main body and the canister. Luckily, I didn't need to sand any of the two pieces. They fit perfectly. I proceeded to glue them together. Here they are glued together. I then glued the entire thing to the Eldar Guardian. Voila! The Warhammer Pushfit Eldar Guardian is now a converted Storm Guardian. I actually have two Eldar Storm Guardians now, products of Eldar Guardian conversions. This has been Retroburn and if you like videos about Eldar Guardian conversions, please like, subscribe, and or share this video would help me immensely. Stay cool, stay frosty.